Good morning, divas. It is Monday, April 3rd, and I'm coming from the gym, as you might have guessed. Um, and, you know, I'm oh, sorry, Blair. Um, you know, I've kind of been on again, off again, and trying to get my running schedule together. I've got a fun run, which is a nine miler in about three weeks. I am not ready for it, but I'm gonna to try to do my best to, to do the best that I can to get ready for it. Um, and so I have lost most of the weight that I wanted to lose though. Um, you know, back in January, I posted a video and said, you know, I got 15 pounds to lose, will I lose the weight? I've got about three or four pounds left that I need to lose. I've lost about 12. Um, and so, Happy for that, excuse me, sorry, happy, <laughs> happy for that. As you can see, my face looks a little thinner now, um, thank God. And I took some um, before and after pictures. I just took some pictures um, just a few minutes ago in the ladies' locker room. And so I will um, post those on Facebook. Um, but anyway, I only went three miles today. Um, but uh, anyway, I only went three miles, but that's all I have time for. Let me go get showered up. And I'll talk to you guys soon. This is me on the second week of January 2017 at 170 pounds. This is me on April 3rd, 2017 at 157 pounds. I'm showing you these pictures, you know, back to back, you know, before and after. Not to brag upon on myself, but just to let you know at age 48, you can reach your weight loss goals. You're not too old. You're not too weak. Don't try to do it in your own strength. Let Holy Spirit give you the strength and the wisdom and the guidance to be able to do it. Don't do it on your own. Be prayerful about it. And yes, you can get stronger. Hey Divas, I just got all cleaned up from working out this morning and I just finished doing my Facebook Live video and I was talking about, um, you know, retrain your brain. How do you let someone know that you're available to date, you know, and how do you do that? in a way that is, um, that you're not pursuing the guy, because I'm old fashioned, so you know, how do you do that when you're not pursuing the guy? Um, but how do you kind of let them, let him know that, you know, you're, you know, you're available and, you know, interested in to get to know, you know, a nice gentleman better. And, you know, and that you're maybe interested in getting to know him better. And how do you do that in a way that, you know, put, doesn't put you in a position that you are pursuing him? And so we're just kind of talking about that today and, you know, kind of um, also the point came up, you know, some people, there's a school of thought that says, you know, if you have a good guy friend um, and you're just friends, it's every, you know, it's just platonic, you know, should you kind of pull back from that guy friend to leave space for the new person, the new guy to come in, you know, and, and you know, what do you, you know, what do you think about that? Should, should that um, be something that, you know, someone who's dating, you know, should she do that? And so I got some feedback from the ladies on Facebook, you know, saying that they disagree because, you know, that may be a warning sign if, you know, if guys are territorial like that, then, you know, that may be a sign that he may be controlling. Another young lady said that, you know, well, no, you disagree because, you know, if things don't work out with the new guy, then, she, you know, she might have lost the guy friend, the good friend. Um, and so it's interesting. So. Let me know what you think, you know, put your comments in the in the uh, comment section. Let me know what you think about that school of thought. You know, if you have, if you're interested in dating and you have a, a guy friend that's just platonic, um, you know, should you pull back from that guy friend to leave space for the new guy to come in so he doesn't feel like, you know, what's going on here or he may feel like it's a threat to the new relationship he's trying to establish or at least trying to get to know you better. You know what's the true nature of the relationship with you and this other you know guy friend that sort of thing so let me know what you think in the comment section um so yeah that's interesting so i was just talking about that and, and talking about um you know what does it look like um you know how do you do that you know how can you kind of get information from maybe friends or other people who know this gentleman who you may be interested in getting to know and the gentleman who might have been trying to gauge your interest in him by just talking to you and you know you can tell he's not sure or at least you think he's not sure you know you know how do you let him know that it's okay to approach you um, and so you know if you have good friends who can do things in a discreet way 
then you know then you can say hey you know I'm not dating anybody and you know it'd be really nice to get to know somebody better or start the process to get to know someone better you know and and you're open to doing that you know and I think you can kind of do that kind of use the friend as a little bit as a intermediary and also kind of gather some information because you know some people who may be single may not be in a place in their life where they're ready to date you know they may still be in a place of healing from the last relationship um, from from their marriage if they got divorced um, they still may be working out some things if they're co-parenting or sometimes they're just in a season in a life where they just want to work on them and they're just not ready to date and that's fine you know because you don't want to get out of uh, you know God's timing on things so you know this is things to consider um, and you know just try to gauge you know this other person's interest or if he really is interested in you and you know you just kind of um, in a very discreet way just try to get information about that particular person I don't think anything's wrong with that not really think that that turns the tables to then the woman pursuing the man because again you, know, you guys know I'm old-fashioned and so I don't believe that you know women should do the pursuing guys should do the do pursuing they should be the ones who have a plan they should be the ones who you know really want you as a treasure and really work to win your heart and that doesn't mean that I believe that guys you know should spend themselves into bankruptcy to do that they always should be in a, in a state of performance you know oh I can never make her happy I'm not saying that you know but just be thankful for the things that um, he thinks up to do and appreciate them men always want to feel appreciated I'm learning that more and more they want to feel appreciated for the things that they do and so you know there are some simple things that they can do that can be you know just show your appreciation you know with this buying flowers or maybe writing a poem that doesn't cost anything you know but but it gives a lot of thought and lets him let you know that he's thinking about you that he he set aside time and effort to do that you know so things like that don't have to cost a whole lot of money but you know you get something that you really hold near and dear to your heart and um, just really feel special and feel like a princess you know and all that good stuff so anyway just food for thought all right. okay folks um, actually this is my fault I am on my way <laughs> to the courthouse because I need to do something there um, uh, which I should have done the other day but that's okay I mean it's no big thing for the case it's just an inconvenience for me because it's my fault I forgot to do it so anyway I am there <clears throat> to go get something done really quick and then I have a meeting um, a young lady who wants to connect who was interested in doing some life coaching so um, I said of course you know we're all just in a process of learning and um, really supporting one another you know and you know Girls compete with one another, but women support one another and lift up one another. And so that's what we do. We lift each other up and share the knowledge that we have and um, try to make each other better and more successful because um, there's always room. There's always, always, always room for that. So that's what we're doing. I might vlog while I'm in the courthouse, but you know, you guys have seen that. So that's nothing new. Anyway, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, I am pulling out and um, I just had an awesome meeting at a Starbucks and I just need to share this with you. This is, this is a total wonderful end of the day, okay? Um, I have been just asking the Lord, you know, I want to start teaching some classes at church. You know, you know, who do I need to talk to about that? What's the best way to start? You know, all that good stuff. And I just met with a young lady who reached out to me who's been... I didn't know who's been teaching some classes um, at the church that I go to. And, um, sorry, I'm just waiting for this guy to move so I can back out. And who teaches classes. And, um, and her subject is very similar to mine. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So she gave me, you know, the different um, names of people that I should uh, reach out to. And,. Um, you know, I'm just, I, I, that's just the connection that I have been looking for and the direction that I was looking for. And so I am so super happy. Um, you know, she actually came, you know, reached out to me because she wanted some advice and she sees that I do some life coaching and she thought I had some information to help her to develop 
um, different courses and also develop maybe like a um, family center whereas um, you know she can teach um, and so oh do I need to stop here sorry this is the Apple store I really don't have time for that tonight I'll have to be when I come to church uh, this weekend I'll come back to the Apple store but anyway you know it, it is just a good um, resource to be able to um, I just appreciate the way the Lord just opened up that door. And I, I had no idea that she taught. And um, I am super happy and over, let me go this way, super happy and over the moon that I have this information that I just kind of stumbled on. <laughs> um, but I'm grateful for it. And I'm going to use that to, oh, this is where I need to go. I, I'll use that uh, first thing in the morning. I'm going to reach out to those folks and try to see if I can get a meeting with them, you know, create an outline for a class and really talk to them about that and um, really have something that is in addition to divorce care for people. That's really my heart because um, I feel like um, divorce care is wonderful, uh, but, but um, there's more there. There's just more there. Let me just put it that way. There's more there. And so, Yes, I am super happy and I, I hope that I was able to share a lot of good ideas for her to, um, you know, she was interested in writing a book, she's interested in developing more classes, so um, she, I, you know, basically told her, you know, one of the best ways to do that is to write a blog, write your book through your blog. Um, so anybody who's interested in writing a book, start a blog. You'll start to get, hopefully you'll start to get feedback from people on the blog and you'll know what to incorporate, what to cut out, you know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and it, you know, it just really forces you to, to do that. So I am super happy. Now talking all that, you know, yin yang about blog, I was supposed to write my blog last night. It was supposed to come out today and I did, I just wasn't able to get to it. So I'm going to about, I'm about to go home and write my own blog. Okay. <laughs> That's coming out a day late. So I always try to have my blog come out on Mondays. Um, today's Monday, but I didn't, that didn't happen. So let me put my glasses on. Um, so I am going to do that and get that done and um, do some other work because I have a meeting tomorrow with my web developer in the evening. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Rob is wonderful. Rob and his wife, Lindsay, she's so beautiful. Um, and so we're going to do that and take care of those things. And um, so, oh, you know what? Let me stop here and get some. Um, no, no, I have to go to Walmart. So I'll stop in Walmart and get some bananas. Um, so, why don't I end it here? So, thank you so much for watching. As always, um, give me a like, um, share, comment. I always read all of your comments. Share, comment, and subscribe. Take care.